Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong with just a video that is going to always be an audio only since I don't have really footage to show of anything interesting. I'm reading an article from Lifehacker online from www.lifehacker.com and this article is written by Brendan Hesse yesterday at 5 p.m. The article is, These popular Android apps are putting user data at risk. According, according to a report by Checkpoint Research, many popular Android apps put your personal data at risk due to poorly secured third-party services. Note, I'll break down what this talks about later on. The report highlights several different security flaws affecting 23 different apps available on the Google Play Store, each with anywhere from 50,000 to 10 million downloads. Most of the offending apps collect and store user information, developer data, and internal company resources using unsecured real-time databases and cloud storage services. Uh-oh! The security researchers were able to find the unsecured cloud databases from 13 apps, meaning outsider, outsider actors can also access them. Uh-oh. Other apps have improperly configured push notification managers, which hackers could use to intercept and modify seemingly legitimate notifications from the developers, seeding them with malware, phishing links, or misleading content. The, these vulnerabilities put at least 100 million Android users at risk of fraud and any theft and malware attacks. What Android apps are putting your data at risk? Checkpoint Research has it says it found one or more of these flaws in 23 apps, 13 of which out of 23 had openly accessible real-time databases. However, the report only calls out five of these apps by name. Astro Guru. This is an uh-oh. In a horoscope app with over 10 million downloads, it stores each user's full name, date of birth, gender, GPS location, email address, and payment information. IFAX, a mobile faxing app that stores all documents sent by its 500,000 plus users and accessible cloud database with the cloud storage keys embedded in the app. Whoops! Logo Maker, a graphic design app with over 170,000 users, 170 million users. Checkpoint found that all users' full names, accounts, IDs, emails, and passwords are accessible. Uh oh. Screen Recorder. This app has more than 10 million downloads. The report revealed it saves account passwords in the same cloud service it stores the recordings the app makes, leaving them vulnerable. Uh-oh. t -Leva, a taxi-hailing app from Angola with more than 50,000 downloads. With this one, leaves text history between drivers and riders and location data, full names, and phone numbers accessible. Uh-oh. Checkpoint says it notified the app creators, but, on, but only Astro Guru responded and all of the apps are still available on Google Play. What should Android users do to keep their data safe? The first step is to stop using the apps called out in the Checkpoint researchers report, but since only five are named, that means there are at least 18 others that out there storing your data without the proper safeguards. And that's just what we know of from Checkpoint's report. There are likely far more apps, websites, and services with misconfigured databases that we'll never know until about after a leak. While Checkpoint researchers report others like it can alert developers and secure data storage practices, it's ultimately up to the developers to fix the issue. However, users can take preventive measures preventive measure to keep their personal data, info, and other important data safe no matter what apps they're using. One, use two-factor authentication 2FA whenever possible. Two, withhold personal information from your accounts and don't add your home address if a service doesn't need it for instance or use fake info whenever possible. Create unique passwords for in every account and use an encrypted password manager. Other than LastPass, I wouldn't use LastPass if I was you a whole lot. Do not link third-party accounts like Google, Facebook, and Twitter if you can avoid it. Keep app permissions to the bare minimum. Use services that notify of breaches and compromised accounts. These extra steps won't stop a breach, but they can mitigate your risk of identity theft, fraud, and other scams. We also have guidelines for preventing responding to data breaches, ransomware attacks, malware and identity theft, and how to spot common phishing tactics and other online scams. This article is written, but Threat Post provides more information about the uh-oh. 
basically 23 apps on the Play Store are affected. 23 of them, only five of them I read out are affected. But, however, there's 13 out of the 23 that have problems of misconfigured server data, meaning your personal information is stored on a server remotely by the company that made the app for Android. But the slight disadvantage here is that the developers have the back end of the servers of the apps that each developer's made. The back end servers are misconfigured, meaning cyber crooks can access those servers remotely, like breach them and take data that is stored remotely on the company servers that created these apps that I read, that I just mentioned. I'm gonna at least try to find the other apps that are part of that. Let's see, Logo Maker, Astro Groot, T Leva or T Leva, which is a app in Angola. Okay. They have open real time database, the ones I just called out. Let's see. There's more about that to the checkpoint research. Screen recorder, cover up sorry in the key. Is this, this article's lengthy? I will post a link to the life hacker and checkpoint article directly on the um, video description below and I'll read out the different ones let's see here it has an appendix one of all the vulnerable applications that have exposed real-time databases as the vulnerability there's also cloud storage keys that are embedded in the app with inside of the app itself it also talks about the data breach, personal chat messages, group info, user messages, chat messages, browser history, phone number, personal information, emails, pin code, location access to the phones, GPS, screen records for one app, private chat and location for another. There's a ton of apps that are impacted about with personal data that can be exposed to attackers if they access a real-time database that's not secured properly and cloud storage keys are embedded in some of the apps that are written by the Re checkpoint research article so that's basically kind of that's basically very scary the researchers are aviron bogdan or bogdan aviad dana and israel those are people who did the research through checkpoint research so i'll leave a link to both of these in the video description below but as always this is william armstrong signing out see you next time bye bye